the deep cool lt 720 liquid cooler wants you to divide the number 720 by 2 so that you can get the number 360 which is how long this aio is 360 mm hey everyone mukul here so i have the lt 720 wh with me today uh, which is basically lt 720 in white because it was about darn time to go white i guess the whole AIO specs are listed thoroughly on the box and on the website and I do love some juicy specs that are listed in detail before putting my money in. The paint finish feels good on the radiator and on the pump cover. The paint has a matte finish over it because no one likes glossy shit unless it's on your lip gloss. The radiator had some bent fins across the corners but nothing too alarming. I mean if this can bother you then just check the condition at the back of your window AC. The pump design is pretty nice and has these angular cuts on the plastic part and this RGB galore infinity cover can be pulled out easily as it sticks magnetically around the pump. Inside the cover you can see these LEDs which can give the RG to your B but I'm pretty sure no one can fall in love with the pump's appearance without its cover. Which is true for a lot of other things actually uh, if you know what I mean and if you do then do let me know as I myself don't know what I'm talking about. The pump cover can only fit in this specific orientation and you can't rotate it unless you rotate the actual pump under it. The tubes feel to be perfectly flexible, uh, not too loose or too tight, just like your underpants if you are into comfortable wear. The sleeves are standard quality which I have seen on many AIOs. There are two clips on these tubes which can restrain these tubes from going all wild. The copper base plate is quite large and has been clearly designed keeping the current generation of AMD and Intel processors in mind. You also get a nice little manual that has neat diagrams in it, but there are no labels on the screws and mount packings, which could have definitely helped the beginners differentiate between the different screws for different sockets. Except for the Intel backplate, which is plastic, everything else is completely metal. The AIO pairs with some of the best fans Deepcool makes by paying them a lot of money. Uh, yeah, these are paid fans. Having a fan air pressure of 3.27 mm H2O is quite impressive. But I do hope these are of individual fans and not collective. As I noticed on their website that the AIO page says 3.27, but the fan page says 2.19, which confused me a little, but I do believe these are tuned differently for the AIO. Yes, these fans don't have any RGB over them, so they do suffer from a bit of lackluster performance. Yeah, that was my attempt at an RGB joke, which really didn't turn out to be a joke. So no RGB, no joke. Equilibrium. The fans also equip noise damping rubber pads across all corners. The Deepcool LT720 performed excellently in my testing till the 200 watt mark when I hogged all the CPU cores for a Cinebench R23 test. The testing was done inside an open case like how I do all my tests. I was mighty impressed to see the LT720 beat the MSI Core Liquid S360 which has fared the best in my set of liquid coolers testing so far. The max temperature touched 92.3 degrees Celsius at the 200 wattage mark when the room temperature was around 32 degrees and it fared quite well around the 175 watt mark and the temperature stayed around 83 degrees. Overall, these impressive results coincide with Tom's hardware and Kit Guru's appreciation of the AIO and the in-house 4th generation perm deep cool developed for it. And if gaming is the heaviest task you do on your system, then you don't need to worry about pairing this liquid cooler with any of the chip you throw at it. Running the benchmarks of Cyberpunk 2033 and the shadow of the Tomb Raider, well, during these tests, the AIO maintained a temperature of around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius when the room temperature was pretty hot at around 32 degrees. The three fans do have a noticeable noise that will be easily audible in a quiet room, especially without an AC or a fan.
Now, do you want to know how to install this? Of course you do. Installing the AIO was pretty easy. Both the AM4 and AM5 sockets have the same process. The case I used to install this in is the NZXT H7 Flow, which I have covered thoroughly in one of my previous videos. I first installed the fans on the radiator and then swiftly installed the radiator on top of the case. I made sure to make the fans face down so that they can eat the hot air from within the case and poop it out from the top. But boy oh boy, there were many screws to screw on the top of this large radiator, uh, more than I typically have experienced so far. Now you can avoid screwing in some of these screws, but my obsessiveness always wins over me. Then I daisy chained the fans together to this cable. I then held on to the stock AM4 backplate on the back of the motherboard and then tightened these screws over them by hand. These two brackets are the same for both the sockets, but make sure that you put these screws in this direction so that they can rest pretty well inside these fine grooves. Now the deep cool logo can only be set in the right orientation when the tubes are facing downward. They are kind of forcing you to install the pump like this because as per their in-house testing, the AIO would perform the best this way only. The previous deep cool AIO that I reviewed could manage to rotate the pump however I wanted. But this time Deepcool really didn't want that to happen and make us miss out the slight performance gain this specific orientation can provide. So after placing the pump on the CPU, you just take these screws and tighten them alternatively diagonally over the brackets. And then comes the best part of feeling the magical snap of the pump cover over the pump due to its magnetic powers. After that, I simply hook the daisy chain cable from the fans onto the CPU fan header and then this 3-pin cable over the AIO pump header. Then we are just left with connecting the ARGB port on the 5 volts ARGB header on the motherboard. If you're not pairing this AIO with a high-end, mega power-consuming chip, then you can connect the fans with these low-speed adapters and save on some noise from the fans. Snap, snap, snap and boom, boom, boom. Uh, no idea why I said boom. Well, the infinity mirror actually ends up looking pretty nice and aesthetically pleasing. And yes, G also kind of digs it. This design reminds me of crystallized rocks that are never symmetrical. So yeah, I do have to come in deep cool for their design sense yet again. Now you can play with the lights of the pump with any of these RGB software that your motherboard uses as deep cool made sure to support most of the windows. So this liquid cooler is priced quite close to its competition. And I do wonder if people would prefer this over the Galahads or the Arctics, for example. Unfortunately, I can't compare them together, but I am impressed with what Deepcool has to offer with this AIO in terms of performance and aesthetics. If this cooler is definitely winning over something uh, against its competition, then that is how the pump has been designed and how well this Infinity RGB stuff has been implemented over it. Looks quite modern and apt for the year 2023. A little lower price against the competition would definitely help Deepcool sell this uh, liquid cooler like hotcakes, especially the fact that it also comes with five years of warranty and I just love more warranty. But I still have my doubts if it can truly calm the i9s or the Ryzen 7 950Xs. Even though when Tom's hardware review shows that it does beat the competition, but the weather here in my country is so hot most of the times that unless and until I test that chip against this uh, AIO myself, I won't be able to watch for it. But any chip below the power consuming limits of 200 watts, well, the LT720WH would probably pair well with them. And by that complicated statement, I just mean the uh, Intel i7s and the Ryzen 7s would do just fine with this AIO. So if you found this review helpful and you decide to go with this AIO, then you can buy from my Amazon affiliate links below. You can also hop on to our Discord server for more chit chat on stuff that is AIO or non-AIO. So stay safe humans, MewBot who is taller than 360mm. Yes.